time. And um, just congrats on actually committing to doing it because to, to actually launch can be intimidating. And a lot of us kind of struggle with, oh, is everything perfectly right? I don't want to start until I don't want to launch until everything is perfect and it can't possibly be perfect until you've launched and you see what your customer needs are and um, and all of that and you can tweak from there. So congrats, congrats on just going for it. Uh, Mike D says the rolling replica surface stand is a lifesaver. I love it. So uh, Mike is talking about the replica studio. Uh, you guys may or may not have seen this on the website. It's in our catalog and you can also order it from the bottom of the bundler. The studio is one of my proudest achievements ever. Uh, it's something that we released at the very beginning of 2022. And since then it's actually won a Stevie award for best product of the year, which is an absolute incredible honor. You know, we, Replica's only been in business for four years and we launched as a Kickstarter campaign in 2018. So to go from that to a product that's never existed before uh, and then to be recognized with an award like that is an absolutely incredible honor. We also have a utility patent on it now. So it's been a really big year for the Replica Studio. And, um, and for those of you guys, uh, the Stevie Awards are one of the most prestigious business awards in the world. And so... It's an international award and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I really, I, but honestly, what's actually cooler than winning that award is to constantly hear how it's improving your, uh, your guys's photo shoot experience. So while the surfaces, they make your photos instantly better and then learning more about photography or videography from our YouTube videos will make your photos even better than that. The studio makes the process easier. So for those of you who haven't seen it, it is in its most basic form, but it's so much more than this. It's a, uh, a tripod on wheels that has a metal platform and grooves in all four corners. You can see photos on the website and we also have video as well to show it in action, but it allows you to swap in and out surfaces um, like in mere seconds. So if you're taking a lot of content and you wanna maybe have the exact same scene, but swap in different seasonal backgrounds, it allows you to do that instantaneously. The wheels also allow you to roll it to anywhere where there's a sliver of perfect natural light. So for some people that's in a weird corner of their bedroom or it's, um, it's in something, maybe it's in your bathroom. You know, there can be very weird places where we all get the best natural light. And this with the studio, you can roll it to those locations. You're not moving your dining room table. You're no longer cluttering your dining room table. Um, you're just, you're finding the right light. You can also swivel the tabletop. So in doing that, um, if you're, you can, you can change the directionality of your light, which will change your shadows um, and, and the whole feeling of your photo. It's also height adjustable. So if your window's really high or you're really tall, it goes up. If your window's low or you aren't really tall, it goes down. And so it's a, it's a pretty incredible piece, I think. And I'm so glad, Mike, that you feel the same way. Um, now you guys know, that's the Replica Studio. Uh, Tina K. Davis says, y'all, the Replica Studio is a must, just do it. Thank you, Tina, for corroborating everything that I just said. Um, uh, let's see here. Tina, K., Tina is also up to 46 surfaces and needs an intervention. No, no, I don't, LOL. Yeah, Tina, you're not getting one from me. I'm not, I'm not gonna be that guy. So <laughs> I will not stop you from growing your collection as long as you're having fun doing it. Um, but thank you so much for that kind of support. That's absolutely, that's absolutely fantastic to hear. Um, Pramila says, oh, so answering the apothecary bottle question that she had earlier. Um, I have clear amber vintage green with cork lid antique labeled. Okay. So you thought, so both amber and vintage green. Let's see in terms of this collection, let me take a look. So I think my favorites for that look, Pramila, I believe I would do, let me go back to my photos. I really like the idea of using designscape for that and then shooting with a relatively low f-stop to keep the background on the blurred side. Um, not completely blurred. We still want to know that it's in your creative workspace. This might be where you've designed your labels and you've designed your, and you've designed your candles and your bottles. So that's, that's what I love about this, about this is it really, 
it puts your audience into the location in which you designed your products. And that's incredibly important for creating that bond and feeling close to you. So I like this one, again, with a lower f-stop to keep it blurred. If you don't use a DSLR camera, you can also get a low f-stop using portrait mode on an iPhone or on an Android. They all have portrait mode equivalents. They're just called something different. So if you, you hopefully you can find it on whatever model of phone you have. If you can't, go on YouTube, search your make and model of phone and the words portrait mode, and it will tell you exactly how to find it. There's so many variations, I can't keep up. Um, but with with either the phone or the DSLR, you're able to control the level of blur of the background. And that can be incredibly important, especially when you're using some of these more intricate surfaces. Some of the more intricate surfaces like the scenes or the scapes and the views that we have, there is a lot going on and that's a good thing. Um, but depending on your product, you may wanna blur it a little bit more so that all eyes stay on your product. Um, that's going to be a personal choice and, it, and it's going to be product specific. But Pramila, I like this one uh, for, for, especially because you're saying that you have the ambers and the greens and, whoop, and in this one, we have the greens of the plant and the greens of the rolls of paper just under the desk. You've also got um, not quite amber, but you've got the, the clipboard as well as the cork in the bottle um, in, the, in, this, in the wire rack that will kind of tie those colors together. So that would be one of my recommendations there. Alternatively, I feel like using either, let's see here, using either uh, the garden view or the bloomscape, depending on your preference for window or no window, is a good idea. Again, just keeping that blur, um, keeping it on the blurrier side. I think, and then that would also lend that springy touch to what could otherwise um, be, be more fallish packaging, the, the amber and the, and the vintage green. So those are my recommendations there. I hope that that helps. Um, let's see here. And then Pramila, if you posted pics in the VIP group, as you say here, that's an awesome idea. Hopefully the group will chime in and they'll give you some recommendations as well. That's another great thing about the VIP group that we have is if you need surface recommendations, prop recommendations, um, camera recommendations, anything that you have a question about, just pose it to the group. Give them as much information as you can, show them what your product looks like. Um, they absolutely love chiming in and truly helping you out. It is the most supportive group I have ever been a part of, and we would love to have you there if you aren't already. Um, hey guys, I just wanna also say, if anyone's tuned in and I haven't mentioned it, I'm Mandy Gleason, I'm the founder of Replica Surfaces. We are celebrating today the Bloom collection that just dropped. It's a limited release collection, which means that um, they can sell out in hours to days. Um, you know, we always hope that things last for a couple of days, but it is impossible to know. So if there's anything you're interested in grabbing from this very springy, colorful, and joyful collection, go grab it now and then come back and watch me. Uh, we, we still got a lot of time to chat after you get back from doing that. Um, and definitely feel free to use the chat box. We're chatting and, uh, and talking to each other. So chime in with any questions you have or any comments at all. Let's see, uh, Dana H says, any ideas to shift well red so it looks a bit more masculine? So that's a great idea. Um, I've had, we've had a couple of requests to have um, just more of a, like more of a dark and moody um, bookshelf. And so that's, that's I, I've definitely taken that inspiration to note and I really appreciate that, uh, you suggesting that again. Uh, let's see here. Mike D hated taking photos until he got replica surfaces. That is one of the best compliments we could ever receive. So I don't know if you guys know the backstory of replica surfaces, but basically back before our Kickstarter in 2018, I was not a photographer in the slightest. Um, I was actually working as a medical doctor. I was uh, doing my medical residency and, um, and I wanted to have a side income. I wanted to have a, um, you know, a, a, a side job that, that was something a little bit different. That was a creative outlet. So I invented a product. It didn't work very well. It was supposed to be a box opener for all of the shipping boxes we get all the time. It was a great idea in theory, not in practice, but that's besides the point. Um, after I had the prototype, I was trying to take photos of it so that I could actually do a Kickstarter promotion for that product. And they looked horrible. Uh, the lighting in my apartment wasn't very good and um, I only had one big window. There was no table in front of it. And so what I needed was a rigid backdrop that looked realistic and that, um, and that I could move anywhere the light was, the light was good. 
I went online and everything was either like wiggly vinyl that didn't look realistic at all, or it was beautiful, but it was hundreds of dollars hand painted, um, or it was DIY. And for me, that's not a skill. And even if it was, I would wanna be spending time you know, DIYing the actual product I was creating or the um, the pieces that I was creating as my hobby, I wouldn't want to be doing it with my backdrop. That's not where my time should be spent. So that's when the light bulb went off that, um, what are we doing with this box opener that isn't really working? I need to solve the need of people just like me, non-photographer creators who are struggling to take a photo. And so that's when Replica Surfaces was born. We made it rigid. We made the stand so they could stand upright. And then since then, of course, we've We've come a long way from stands to actual studio that can be moved around. So it's evolved a ton since that point. But yeah, just like you, Mike, I could not take a photo until replica surfaces. And then as soon as we created them, my photos got instantly better, but they weren't perfect. They were just definitely better. And so then I learned the easy ways to style a scene, light a scene. I invented some of my own compositions that just kind of worked every time. And from there on, my photos got infinitely better than where I started and to the point where I can teach you guys about it. So um, thank you so much for, for saying that, Mike. I, I hated taking photos until I created replica surfaces. Uh, Narrow Lobster, one of, the, one of the best names on here says, you are so lovely. Well, thank you so much. Um, that's, a really, that's, a, that's a really, really kind thing to say. Um, just love chatting with you guys. It's, it's one of my favorite things. Let's see. Um, yeah, Pramila loves portrait mode. It looks so much better. So a little bit earlier, I was talking about portrait mode on the iPhone, or there are portrait mode equivalents on um, on on Android phones as well. And it gives you that. It gives you a similar to a DSLR uh, level of blur that can make your photo that does make your photos look much more professional and much more eye catching than when you just use the photo setting alone. It's it's one of the best ways to to have a professional looking photo. Um, Tina says the VIP group is amazing, super helpful. Inspiration is posted daily. Yes, it absolutely is. So, um, one of the great skills that I, uh, that you can learn as a content creator and that I learned, I had to learn early on so I could learn how to teach you guys how to take photos and how to create content was to analyze photos that you like. So, um, you see a photo pop up and you're going to see them all the time on the VIP group. Just step back and think, okay, I love this photo. Why is that? And try to piece apart where are the props placed? Uh, what's the lighting doing? Try to try to step back and think what would the behind the scenes of this photo look like? And so one component of that is to think, you have to think in 3D, right? So you're looking at the photo and of course everything is stacked so it's flat, but try to push yourself above the photo and think what would this actually look like from above? Because when we know that when we're styling our photos and we're looking at it from above, they look ridiculous. How in the world are these positions of objects actually gonna come together to make this beautiful blurred dimensional photo that I'm trying to create? But they really do. So try to look at that photo, stand above it mentally and think where those objects are placed, then try it for yourself. So um, not, you know, we're not copying other people's photos, but when you love it, take your own props, put them in a similar position and create it for yourself. Um, that's one of the absolute best ways to learn. And that's how I did it. Um, Bethany says, you really did an amazing job designing these, Mandy. Thank you so much. Um, you know, we've been doing limited releases now since I think the summer of 2019 were our first ones ever. Um, we came out with all white and coral at the time. And since then we've, you know, we've, we've ramped up how many limited releases we're doing. And this has become one of the most fun parts of Replica. It's, it's not only creating the things that you guys are asking for and things that I've never seen before that I think should be long in surfaces. It's also creating these cohesive collections that all go together like this. So it's a lot of work, a lot of time, but it is a lot of fun. And it's incredibly rewarding to, to see this response to them when they actually drop on limited release drop day, which by the way, guys, it's always Fridays at 10 30 AM CST. So it's a very special time on your either. And if you do join the, the Facebook VIP group, something is always happening on Friday at 10 a.m. It's either the announcement of something new, it's um, some cool contest, it is it's the actual drop of these services. Friday, 10 a.m. CST, 
Very important time, very fun time to be a VIP group member. Um, let's see here. Okay, well, a question Pramila asked was, what bottom surface do you like with DesignScape? So let me go back to the photos and I'll show you. So again, so this is DesignScape. For bottom surface, I don't have a photo here, but I really like the Scandinavian wood and the flax. So these are two that, we, um, that are previous limited releases that we brought back this morning along with this collection because of how well it all goes together. The reason being that the Scandinavian wood and the flax match the, um, the wood of the table, the wood of the chair, and, um, and, and the wood of the cut of the, what is it called? The clipboard. <laughs> I don't use these in real life anymore. So I couldn't think of the word. Um, so yeah, so the, those ones are nice and neutral. They're that beautiful neutral beige color. And I would recommend pairing those ones with this. It will keep your subject the star. That's a, that's a really great question. Um, let's see. I'm, not, I'm just gonna look at the comments. We've had 18 come in since, so I'm gonna scroll down. Bethany says, I love your backstory, Mandy. I'm so happy you made this business. Me too. <laughs> Me too, Bethany. I, I love that we're really, we're really in this together. You are, there's a very good chance you're a business owner. A lot of us who use replica surfaces are in one way or another, whether we sell products, we're professional photographers who are trying to gain clients. Um, you make, uh, you're a food blogger who needs to sell um, ad space and sponsorships. Many, many of us, the majority of us are business owners in some way. So um, we can all relate to the, to the struggles and also the rewards thereof. Um, so I'm really happy I made this too and that we can support whatever it is that you're creating, Bethany. Um, Bethany also says, are the towels new? Yeah, so these, so these towels are new. So we've had styling towels for a little while now. We have different trios on the website. So you can, um, different color combinations that go beautifully together. You can figure out which ones are best for your style and um, for whatever surfaces you have. But for this one, we've got this set of bloom towels. So this is mint, ivory, and latte. And the reason that we came up with this trio, I had just, I mentioned a, a little while ago, is because our photographer who takes photos for the limited releases, uh, her name's Jess, she kept reaching for these towels when she was styling this collection. And so what better trio to have than the one that our photographers are truly reaching for? And so that's actually how we create, um, we create all of our towel trios. Uh, what goes best? Which ones are we grabbing? Gotta be a trio. So that's your Bloom trio and they're available right now. Um, let's see here. Uh, Tina says it's easy to stand above it if you have the replica studio. So she, that, that's a really great point. So the replica studio, I was saying earlier, it, it's height adjustable. And so the major benefit to this is that you can raise it high up so that you can actually take a photo at true eye level, standing up, no chairs, no bending over, just take your camera at whatever height you are. Um, so that's, that, that's its biggest benefit, but it also goes low so that you can take flat lay photos and you can shoot down on it, particularly if you're using a phone. If you're using a DSLR and you have a very long focal length, length lens, it may not go low enough for that lens. Um, or if, um, if you're not that tall, you also might be tempted to stand on something. If that happens, we have a mini tripod. So it's actually available on the website right now. You guys asked for it. And so this is our flat lay tripod. If you take tons of flat lays or you're, uh, you're about five, two or under, or you use a lens with, um, with a really long focal length, or you travel with it and need your, um, your tripod to be particularly, um, what's sort of portable, <laughs> uh, transportable, then this could be a really good option for you. So consider that as a secondary accessory if you do own the studio and you find yourself on a stool. We don't need you on a stool. Uh, the mini tripod will totally, uh, will totally fix that. Um, then let's see here. Uh, Bethany says that uh, love Fridays here. Yes, Fridays is replica day. You know, everyone says, you know, Friday and it's the beginning of the weekend. And so let's lean into that and let's make it not only the beginning of the weekend, but also something incredible always happening at replica. Uh, Mike D says, I love this live. You are amazing. Thank you. Dude, thank you. Um, it's, it's a, they're a lot of fun. Um, it's something we do. We just started doing it a couple weeks ago. 
And um, we've upgraded, wait, wait, I'm now using a better camera. I've got a boom mic over my head. I've got lights coming in here and lighting me from the back. Um, I'm working on establishing a YouTube and a live studio that has, um, so you guys just get the quality video that, that you wanna watch, that you deserve to watch, but it's coming together slowly. So this is, we're kind of halfway there. I've got half my equipment and, um, and the rest of it's coming. So these lives will progressively get better well, uh, better well lit, sure, we'll go with better well lit um, over time. And uh, I'm really glad that you guys will be here to see all of that. I thought, um, so I think that's, that's about the end of our comments, I think, let me see. Yes. Oh, hold on, let's see, one second. Jessica Brennan says, I'm so glad I found your company. I love your products so much. Well, thank you so much, Jessica. Um, I really hope that if you wanted to take advantage of the bloom surfaces that have dropped today, that you already grabbed them. Um, if you haven't and you are planning to order, go do that, then come back to me. I don't want anything to sell out before you get it. You never know how popular things can be. We never know how popular things can be. Um, we try to order enough of every surface that we think that we can get, you know, at least a weekend out of it, but occasionally something is just way more popular than we could have anticipated. And that's why I really always encourage people, the moment they drop, try to grab what you need and then sit back, relax, come join me on these lives. Um, let's see, and then Mike D says, I was really worried about pink backgrounds, but you broke down and you can't wait. You're not gonna regret it. You think you're gonna love using them. I mean. Every, there, no color is perfect for every look that you're trying to create, but for the, but this, this pink particular gives a lovely softness, a, a spring quality. Um, they pair so well with this collection, so I think you're gonna really enjoy using it. You'll let me know though. Um, Pramila says, any chance you can bring back cognac leather? I mean, there's always a chance, and I appreciate you asking about that. Um, cognac leather for you guys, it's, it, it's been a previous limited release that's, that's come back. Um, during some revival, we call them resurfacing, resurfacings. Actually, one of our VIP members created that term. I am kicking myself that I didn't come up with that term, but um, she's graciously allowed me to adopt it. And so it's come back during a resurfacing um, and, it's, and it, it, it's sold out again. So thank you for letting me know, Pramila, that that's something that you'd like to see come back. Um, I always listen to those kind of requests. And if we get enough of them, maybe it will. Um, Let's see, uh, Petite Acorn says, I finally found my way over here during live hours. You did. <laughs> I know, I can't, I, I wish I could do like, you know, 90s infomercial styles where they go live for hours and hours and, uh, and anybody can just kind of drop in, but I think I'd lose my voice and I would need a lot more than just this singular glass of water. But in the future, it's definitely possible um, that we could have guests on. So other other business owners, other photographers, um, other content creators. And, you know, they and I can go back and forth. You can learn from them as well as from me. And then this could last, this could last longer if I had somebody else uh, to bounce things off of. So if that's something you guys would like to see, do let me know that in the chat as well. It is very much an option um, to have guests uh, who are great at what they do. So one thing that I wanted to go to, we've got about eight minutes or so before uh, before this live ends. So I've already shown you the bloom surfaces. Oh, hold on a second, let me go back to my photos. <clears throat> I've already shown you the bloom surfaces. Bam, 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 bam. And there's even more than that <laughs> that, um, that have dropped today. Um, one, I wanted to show you a couple tips and then I have, a, um, I, I have a poll that I would love for you guys to answer. So let's see here. I wanna show you this photo. So one of our VIP members said, I love the window, but what about curtains? Uh, we had a surface that came out last month called Dusk View, where the curtain was actually part of the surface and, um, and people loved it. Um, but what we created this time was a, a way for you to add a curtain. So this right here is actually the ivory styling towel from the Bloom Towel Trio. This one, the one that just dropped today. And this is just draped over your upright surface and then it hangs into your photo just like a white curtain. So I absolutely adore this look. And let's just analyze the parts of this photo first because one thing that can be really difficult to photograph are very small products. So these rollerball scents, they're, they're tiny. And so to properly stage a photo that doesn't overwhelm your product can be quite difficult. But I love what our, our photographer just did for this one. 
So by using multiples of the product, and when I, well, multiples is a replica term for you just using multiple copies of your exact same product. So by laying one on its side and taking the cap off, she's now shown your customer that this is indeed a rollerball um, without taking two photos. You can see the beautiful rose gold cap. You can see the rollerball all in one photo. Your audience and potential customer knows what your product is going to be. She also used a book um, to act as a riser. So risers in replica world, I'll go back to my face while I'll describe this for a second. Uh, risers in replica world are anything flat with elevation that basically elevates, raises up your product. Um, it gives a, it gives height to small products. It also just adds just plain visual interest. One great thing about risers is you can also stack them in ways that don't make any sense that just plain look good. So for food, sometimes we'll put a, a styling towel draped along the bottom and then a cooling rack on top of that and then three plates haphazardly stacked on top of each other and then brownies. It doesn't make sense. You would never serve things that way, but it looks really good. It adds multiple textures, um, the, the linen of the styling towel, the metal of the, of the cooling rack, and then the colors of the plates. Um, you can make it up. It doesn't have to make sense to look good. That's, that is definitely a replica styling tenant. Um, but in this case, we'll go back to the photo. We just used a singular book. And what's great about this is because it's white, because the, the writing is black, it doesn't distract very much at all from the product. It just adds uh, vertical height and interest. And then of course, we hung our gorgeous curtain in the background, our styling towel. Um, and we also kept the, um, this is garden, the garden view surface. We also kept it a little bit out of focus. We, we shot this with a relatively low F stop so that again, your product remains the star, but it looks like it's sitting right in front of a window. Um, this by the way, is the pairing with Scandinavian wood. Uh, Pramila, you had asked what I like with, um, to go with that designscape surface. And this is the one it just, it's very neutral. It's incredibly versatile. I don't think we have all that many left to be quite honest. So if you're thinking about it, anybody, I would go order that as soon as you can. Um, let me see here. Uh, one other example is here we are same, same kind of thing here. Um, we kind of crumpled it up to make it look very lived in. Um, this is the latte styling towel. Um, it actually doesn't hold wrinkles all that well. So <laughs> We, we we kind of went to extremes to get it crumply, but we just wanted this to look extremely cozy and lived in. And um, and so this is another example of how you can take a styling towel, make a curtain out of it. Absolutely adore this look. Uh, let me know in the chat what you guys think about this. Uh, one more tip that I want to show you and then I do want to ask you the question that I want to ask you is, bam, okay. So here we have Garden View again. Clearly, we love this surface. I hope you do too. And we've paired it with Rustic Chevron. So this is a surface that's currently available on the website. So incredibly versatile. You can pair it in ways you wouldn't even expect would work. But we're always trying new and unexpected things at Replica and then sharing the good ones with you. So um, we thought, what about pairing these bright surfaces, which also came back today, um, with rustic chevron and seeing what happens. So this is pink velvet cake. It's a solid, beautiful magenta, and it pairs incredibly with the rustic chevron, uh, despite these not feeling like they would work at all. Um, same thing for mint frosting also came back today and cotton candy also came back today. So I just think that's, that's really exciting to be able to see, um, we've got this, it's, it's so neutral and the pink is so not, but it looks really, really good. Um, so let's see here. So yeah, going back to this one, as I was saying, so this styling looks really complicated, right? When you look at it from the front, but let's try to do that thing here. Go back to my face for a second. Let's try to do that thing that I was just talking about earlier, where you look at a photo that looks complicated, but then try to like have an out of body experience, put yourself over the photo and think, what does this look like from above to help you? I have this photo from above. <laughs> so what you can see here is it's actually not as complicated as it looks from the front. So what we have is a riser. That is the white object that you've placed your product onto to give it vertical height. And then in front of that, we've draped the mint towel, which is part of that bloom styling towel trio that dropped today. We've placed it into a very like 
loose C shape or V shape that faces the front of your surface. Um, and then we've kind of we've tucked some flowers right beside the right beside the white riser in the front and next to a multiple of the product that's now laid on its side. So like when you this isn't that hard. We we all can get some blooms. It's easy to get some flowers from a grocery store bouquet. Um, they're always going to be seasonal, so that's really nice. You can, you always have two of your own product and a styling towel. And then when we go back to the shot. It looks incredible. And this is another recommendation for, uh, or another reason that using multiples can be so helpful if you have a product that has texture that you wanna show. Because right now, we're showing the label, we're showing the lid in the, in the main upright product, but we've also tipped one on its side to show the beautiful texture of the body scrub that's within. So, great way to show multiple angles of your product with one photo. Um, I'll go back to a second to the chat and see what you guys are talking about. Let's see here. Oh, someone says that mint frosting is sold out. Wow. Okay. That was, okay. So it's only 11 o'clock. That was incredibly fast. That is not what I expected. <laughs> Um, okay, thank you for letting me know um, that this was this was so popular. Um, we'll see what we can do on this front. I, if you missed it, I'm I'm sorry about that. Um, this was this was at min frosting ended up being a lot more popular than we expected, and so this is. I know it might not be easy for everybody to you know order right at the right at the time that that surfaces go live. Um, one thing to note is that if you are a Facebook VIP member, um, they actually get, or, or an Instagram VIP member, so you can pick your platform of choice, um, they actually get access to new surfaces a little bit earlier than everybody else does, um, which helps you to make sure that nothing sells out before you get it. So if you're a VIP, if you wanna become a VIP member and you wanna make sure that you get those surfaces, you can either join the Facebook VIP group or on Instagram, we're Replica Surfaces VIP. So it's a private group, request to join, we'll let you in. It's, 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 just, it's just private to keep out bots and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, either of those, you'll get first access and then you never have to worry about selling out because I know that that's, that's not what any of us want. But thank you for letting me know that that happened and, um, and we'll see what we can do there. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Tina loves the towels, love the way that they look like linen curtains. I'm so glad you do and, and thank you. I, I, have to see, I have to see what VIP member recommended this to us. Um, I'm so glad we gave it a try because I'm absolutely loving the look. Um, let's see. Yes, Kelly, I am also glad that you woke up early and snagged your mint. Um, Mike, Mike's going to be joining today. Yes, please go and join our VIP Go Join both of them. The, the content on both of our VIP groups is completely different. What you're going to get from, v, from Facebook versus on Instagram. So definitely join both of them so you don't miss any of the content that we create there. Um, Pramila asked, did I say, uh, so as we were talking earlier about a pairing for designscape. And for anybody who missed it, Designscape is this one that looks like the unconventional, amazing workspace where you create your products. In terms of a pairing, I like both Scandinavian wood and flax. It just depends. Are you a wood fan? Or with flax, it looks like, like a handmade paper. Um, so it's, it, it has that kind of texture to it. So the both of them from a, from a coloration, a tonality standpoint, both of those look fantastic with this surface and also with office scape, because again, we have the light wood shelving um, as well as the legs of the desk. And so it, that is completely up to your own preference, whether you're a Scandinavian wood fan or a flax fan, both pair beautifully. Um, Kelly says that she love, love, loves the interior scapes this time. Thank you so much for saying that. I was saying earlier that the inspiration for creating these was to create more organized spaces. So we came out with this surface called Kitchenscape last summer, and it looks like a kitchen you do not have to clean. And from that, the, our replica VIPs, they requested more of these beautifully organized interior spaces that you don't have to clean. As we know, my office does, I'll be honest, my office does not look like this. And I know that yours doesn't either, but we can make it look that way in our photos. 
And the other great thing about these ones in particular, both the office scape and the design scape, is that it helps to bring that behind the scenes quality that all of our audiences love to see. It helps to bring them into the foreground. Um, sorry about that buzz. If we're still. <laughs> Technical difficulties, horrible noises happening. Sorry, guys. Um, our tech team will get to the bottom of that. Um, but yeah, so to be, yeah, to be able to bring um, that, that behind the scenes look into the foreground, you know, part of being a business owner in 2023 is being able to connect like this with our audiences in ways that, you know, traditionally wasn't something that a, a founder of a small business needed or, or, or ever did. But that's become increasingly important. And we've always enjoyed, you know, watching the behind the scenes. How do you create your product? Um, seeing you in action as you, as you design it. We all love seeing that in things like Instagram stories and reels. But now with these surfaces, you can do it also in photo form. Um, it'll really feel like this is the location in which you create what you create. And one of my lights died. Thank you for being part of this, <laughs> this very first and imperfect live. We're going to get better. Um, one thing that I would love to do is, um, is ask you guys a question. So, um, what the, actually let's, let's, I like to do a poll. Those are fun. So our customer base, you know, is as at replica, it's so broad. Uh, you guys are business owners, you're makers. Some of you make products. Many of you make food. Um, you're professional photographers, pro professional photographers who photograph either products or food for your clients. Um, there are so many uses for surfaces that it becomes difficult to have a name for all of us. Do we call what do we call ourselves as a as a group? So I would love to know in a poll um, that we're about to post. It's what uh, what do you consider yourself if you had to give yourself a name? So do you think of yourself as a business owner, or a maker, or a creator, or a founder, or a photographer? You may consider yourself to be many of these things, and that's great. But if you had to pick just one, aka what replica might call ourselves um, as a group, which one do you most identify with? So I'll leave this poll open for about a minute so you guys can, can let me know. Just click on whichever one you most identify with. In the meantime, while you guys do that, I'll take a look at some more comments. Mike D says, my space looks like a tornado came through. Well, that means that you're creating. So that's what it's supposed to look like. It's only supposed to be tidy if you ever want it to be, I don't know, on a cleaning day. Um, other than that, you can just rely on our services and uh, you'll, never need to, you'll never need to tidy when you don't want to again. All right, let's see here. I need to find out how to, let's see. Okay, there, I think, <laughs> just looking for how to end the poll. Now I know. Okay, hopefully you guys have had enough time to vote. We're gonna end the poll. Let's see what you guys say. All right, it looks like by and, so by and large, we consider ourselves creators. So um, five of us who voted said creators followed by business owner. Uh, followed by photographer and some of us founders and makers. So every, every, it sounds like every one of these terms we feel represented by, um, but that creator, um, at least in this room, that's number one. So thank you guys so much for letting me know that. That is incredibly helpful for, um, for how we talk about ourselves as a group of people. Um, let me see here. I wanted to show you one more thing. I know we've gone over time, so if you can't stay, that's totally okay, but I'm having a lot of fun here. Uh, let me show you a couple of styled photos. So we've, talk we've talked about this designscape photo, and hopefully, Pramila, this is helpful to you. Um, so this is, sh this is showing designscape along with the glow. Oh, you know what? I should probably show you the photo, huh? Not just my face. Let's do that. There we go. All right, so here we have the designscape. Uh, Photo uh, designscape paired with gloss black, which is our reflective surface and makes pairs with 
any surface that you love and makes it look truly stunning and eye-catching. You're going to get reflections of everything that you place on it. It also allows you to reduce the amount of styling effort you put into things because the reflection itself acts as a styling prop. So in this photo, one thing that I want to show you though is that we've pulled really far back farther than you'd pull back on a product this small. But that's because I want to we want to always show you as replica what the surface looks like. We want you to be able to know what to expect. So typically when we take our shots, they're pulled back and they aren't super blurred. That way you know what the entire surface is like. But when you take your own photos of small items, you're going to want to zoom in most of the time uh, or crop in rather crop in something more like this so that your your product remains completely the star of your shot. And, um, and then you will also want to choose your f-stop, your level of blur, accordingly. So um, in this case, um, I don't know exactly what f-stop this is, but it's, it's neither super low nor super high. So this could be around, I don't know, a 3.5 or a 4 would be my guess. Super low, our f-stop's like 1.8, and that's when it's incredibly blurred. Some people love that look, other people find it's too blurred and they can't see the scene properly. All personal preference. And then typically when you go over five, you're really seeing the surface in quite crisp focus. Uh, next up, here's Well Red uh, paired with Rose Marble. This is also one of our classic surfaces that we have on the website right now. Just wanted to show you how well those pinks coordinate, if you happen to have this one. And here we have peony tile swapped in. So Mike, you said you weren't gonna go in the pink direction, but you, you took the plunge and you did it. Here's an all pink shot that I think looks fantastic. So peony tile with the paired with the rose marble. It's all pink, but if you're a pink lover, this shot, absolutely beautiful, very delicate. Here's an example of it paired with the mint frosting. You know what? That's the one that sold out. I want to show you guys something that sold out. If, if any of you didn't grab it because um, that's not the best. <laughs> it's never our intention to sell out in, you know, in the first hour, but this one just received so much love. Um, so thank you guys for showing mint, mint frosting so much love. Um, this is a great shot. So this right here is, um, is white wood which is kind of a, a more simplified version of shiplap. Shiplap is one of our surfaces that we have all the time, but it has uh, black uh, grooves or black um, spacing between the planks. And, um, and so we wanted to try one with white, with white spaces between the planks. And so this is white wood. This came back today and here it is uh, paired with pink velvet cake. And um, this is an, a solid all magenta surface. Um, and so I, I think this pairing looks really fantastic together. It's, it's, um, it's bright and colorful, but the white balances it out. And then here is an, is an incredibly vibrant pink on pink of pink velvet cake. That's the upright one paired with cotton candy, which is the base surface. And these two came out as part of the um, I'll go back to my face, came out as part of the Sprinkles collection, which was a surface collaboration that we did with an incredible cake artist as well as a TikTok creator. Her name's Allie, uh, Allie Burnett Duncan, and she's um, Sugar Pusher, if you follow her over there. And so Replica did our first ever collaboration and we created the Sprinkles collection, which was made for bakers and makers who need bright, vibrant colors for their photos. And so this collection was a big hit. You guys have been asking for it back. And because of how well it pairs with the Bloom collection, we've brought it back today. And so, um, so you can find those right now um, available. And then here's that same shot. And now we've gone overhead. And, um, and this is cotton candy. So it looks amazing from flat lay as well. One of the really cool things about this uh, collection is that the back sides are printed in, um, in, in very funky patterns as well that all match the same color scheme. So you can actually use the backgrounds and all you would do is just crop off, um, crop off the, the branding on the back. And you can use this in flat lay form, just like this. This is actually the back side of cotton candy. So this is cotton candy. It has this very subtle painted texture to it. This is the backside. I am not showing you photos as I'm talking about them. I, that's, that's funny. So <laughs> let's try that again. 
So this is cotton candy. It's the one with the um, with the subtle painted texture, and its backside are these sprinkles. And so all you would do to use it in your photo is to crop out the branding, and um, and then uh, and then and you shoot, and it looks like an entirely new surface. Cotton candy. That's its backside. And here's the backside used upright, paired with what uh, rose marble. And then also the backside of pink velvet cake. That is the completely solid pink. That's the one that's the upright surface in this in this um, in this photo. The backside of that, we have some really cool stripes. So you can also use that in your photo. So this is a really fun part of that collection. And something that I showed earlier, I'd love to show it again, is in very unexpected pairing combination. This is those same sprinkles uh, collection surfaces paired with rustic chevron, which is available right now. You get the the rustic neutrality of rustic chevron, and then this completely unexpected color pop that looks, I think, absolutely fantastic. Though I don't think I would uh, come up with this myself. This is our very talented photographer Jess, who thought I'm going to pair these together and see what happens, and then we loved what happened. And then here's the same shot paired with well red and cropped in close. And here is here it is with with peony tile. So here's some more inspiration for you, Mike, uh, since you took the plunge and got peony tile this time. Those are all the photos that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump back into the comments, and then I think we'll uh, I think we'll say adieu after. Let's see here. Yummy Cake says, wow, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for that. I am I am thrilled that you're loving this collection. I do too. It was an incredibly fun one to create. And um, we actually created it based on the requests that we had from our customers. You guys wanted garden scenes. You wanted windows. You wanted organized interior spaces that looked like wo uh, work spaces. You also wanted shelves and you wanted pink tiles. So that's where this collection comes from. Whoops. It's what you requested. And then I made it cohesive. Um, let's see here. Yes, Yummy Cakes also loves these for Valentine's Day coming up. They absolutely, you, and you still have time as well to create all of your content before then. Um, Oily Beans <laughs> loves the idea of having guest photographers come onto these lives. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Oh, I have not gone back to my face. I'll get used to this software in time. Um, yeah, loves the idea of having guests come on these lives. So rather than just me talking at you, which is fun, but eventually I'm gonna need to get another glass of water. We can have guest, guest photographers, guest creators, um, come on, guest business owners, come on and we can, we can talk with you so that these lives can go on even longer and you can hear more than just my voice. So I'm glad that you like that idea. I think that's a great one too. Awesome. And then Alex Snyder says, uh, I love the idea to use the styling towels as curtains. Thank you so much. If anyone's just joined us, I want to show you this really quickly. So we have, we just uh, dropped the Bloom styling towel trio, which is the styling towels that our photographer Jess kept reaching for as she was styling and taking the photos for this collection. She kept reaching for the mint towel, the ivory towel, and the latte towel. So what better trio to make than the one that our photographer wants to use with this collection? So this, these are your bloom towels. What you can do with them, well, many things, many different styles of draping, as I showed you here with this raised V, and you can drape it like this, but you can also hang it over your surface and make it look like a curtain. So linen styling towels, drape them over your upright surface. It's this easy to create, and it looks this incredible. Tina says, those windows are a must. Keep adding them. Okay, you want more windows, I'll make more windows. Uh, let's see here. Um, elderly Omelette. I love these names that this chat creates for you guys. These are fantastic. Elderly Omelette asks, does the rustic chevron match up in the corners for a corner shot? I have no idea, but we'll try it and, uh, and we'll let you know. So I'll, uh, I'll talk with our photographers and we'll, we'll see if we can make that combo happen. Um, if we can make it happen, we'll post it to the, the Replica VIP group. So make sure that you're a member over there, over on Facebook. Um, yeah, and that way we can show it to you. 
Vanessa Ray asks, which software I'm using for this live? It is a combination of softwares. Um, it, is a, it is a video streaming, uh, uh, video hosting platform that allows us to put it on the website. Um, it's called, uh, you know what? I can't remember at this exact moment what it's called. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. But then I'm also using a, we just installed it yesterday, that's why. Um, and we're also using something called OBS, which is an open broadcasting software. And so um, it's, there's kind of a big to-do. There's a, there's a lot that's connecting here. Once I get a better handle on it, I can let you guys know um, so that it's something that you guys can make happen yourself for whenever you wanna go live for your customers. Um, let me master it more. I'll get back to you. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm just... Yes, definitely. The, the benefit of this software or what, what we're using right now is that I can go back and forth between me and between the photos. And that has been, that's very difficult to do through, um, through certain native broadcasting um, platforms. So let me get back to you. Uh, let's see here. Inborn prawns would love to see a bathroom scene. Noted, noted. Um, I think that's a great idea. Uh, for right now, we do have Spascape. If you if you haven't seen it, it's uh, it's it's on the main catalog right now, and it looks like kind of a um, a Japandi, uh, so kind of like a very spa zen like uh, bathroom vanity. It has a, with a sink and with a mirror. There's no tub in it if that's what you're looking for, but it does completely exude that um, that spa serene bath look. So I would go take a look at that and see if that suits your style. All right, guys, that is the vast, let's see here. Um, Intent Toast asks if there's any plans to add styling objects to purchase. So I take it you mean styling props. Um, it's something that we've looked into um, and it, it could be on the horizon. Um, there's a lot of ins and outs to sourcing that kind of stuff from a business standpoint, but I, I absolutely adore that idea. And, um, and let, me, let, me keep, let me keep you posted as the year goes on. I like where your head's at. Awesome, more, more votes for a vintage bathroom, vintage tub with cloth feet. Okay, apparently you guys are wanting, you are wanting some bathrooms. So very, very much noted. Uh, keep your eyes peeled in the next couple of months. Um, and you know what? We are like 20 minutes over the end of this live stream. Um, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this and had some fun and seeing the photos and that you got everything you need. If there's anything that you need from the Bloom Collection, I would go grab it right now. I know that mint frosting already sold out, so I don't want that to happen to you with any other surfaces. And um, and yeah, please, please do come and join us on the Replica VIP Facebook group, as well as the Replica Surfaces VIP Instagram. Request to join, um, we'll, we'll let you in right away. And, um, and we've got so much planned for 2023 that I cannot wait for you guys to be a part of because you really truly will be part of the design process and we're gonna keep going live like this all the time. So thank you for being here and I will see you at the next one.